So I definitely wouldn't have worn this jumper if I'd known I would basically blend into this couch. Like I guess I can't wear this jumper filming against this background. <laughs> Note to self. Can you also tell I have kind of a thing for blue at the moment. So today I'm going to share the things that I got for my birthday. I had a really nice chilled out birthday this year. From my best friend I got these little cute dainty earrings. She knows I love like simple silver jewellery and they're just like half hoops so they look like a hoop in your ear because you can only see the front but they cut off towards the back. So they're really comfortable to wear and they're just really nice and simple and perfect for everyday wear. I used to be like quite a statement jewellery kind of person but now I'm the complete opposite. I just love really simple kind of basic items that I can wear again and again so she knows me well and these are really perfect. My other best friend got me this Bobbi Brown art stick in the shade Dusty Pink which is a really nice lip crayon and I've been really enjoying this. The texture is just like a lipstick but obviously it applies like a lip liner slash lip crayon so really quick and easy to put on but it has a really nice smooth velvety matte texture just like a lipstick so it's the best of both worlds to me and I really am enjoying this. I definitely want to try more Bobbi Brown products because I think they're a brand I've really looked over. Whilst we're on the subject of beauty, my mum also got me some bath and pamper products which I always appreciate. These are from the Mandara Spa range, which I think is a Sainsbury's own brand. The mini luxury set she got me, so this is hand cream, bath essence, body lotion and shower cream. In that same range she also got me the bathing ritual set, which is a large size of the bath essence, a small candle and a reed diffuser. So always a great product to get if you're kind of a beauty product pamper lover like me. I always love new bath stuff. My mum also bought me these cute little slipper sock things, footsie things in a leopard print pink pattern. She knows me well and I've been wearing these non-stop. They're really fleecy and warm and cosy. I got a few books. I got Vogue on Gianni Versace and Vogue on Valentino Garavani. So these complete my Vogue on collection now. I have all of the other designers and these books are amazing. I, I love them. If you're into fashion or even like history and beauty and all that kind of thing, these are just really interesting books because it's basically a really nice concise biography of some of the world's top fashion designers from like birth and growing up, their inspiration, how they got into the industry and detailing their whole career and their muses and everything so if you're into art or fashion these are great books and they're just really nice and beautiful to keep and collect anyway. I also got a copy of Sophia Amoruso's Girl Boss. This has been a book I've wanted to read for ages, it's raved about amongst so many bloggers and other girls online so I definitely wanted to read it for myself. I love to read about women in business, I find it really inspiring and motivating and this one seems like it's going to be a good one and it's nice and compact so I'm probably going to like devour it in a few days or so and I'm just really excited to read this. So let me know if you have read it and I would love to know what your thoughts were. I got a few pieces for my capsule wardrobe. Um, I actually went shopping to pick them out and one of them I'm wearing right now and I got another few things. But I'm not gonna mention them in this video because I the lens I film my main channel videos on is too um, narrow to film fashion videos. So I'm going to try and get a tripod for my iPhone because I think if I light the video well I can film a fashion video on my iPhone and show you my capsule wardrobe. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that video is going to happen in February. So if you're wanting to see the capsule wardrobe that I've created for January to March then check back in February for that and make sure you're subscribed. But 
Today I'm going to show you the gym stuff I got. I'm always appreciative of new workout clothes. I'm constantly wearing them. You know, they're stretched during workouts. They're, they're all sweaty and they can like start to smell after a while. And I do try and look after them as much as possible, but it's always nice to have a little refresh in your workout wardrobe, especially in the new year, because it's just a nice little extra motivation to work out. So I got a few new sports bras. Everything is from H&M because I think H&M are the best for affordable workout stuff. So I got this gray patterned sports bra with like a neon yellow detail. And this is really nice for yoga as the support is slightly lighter. So it's not gonna protect your boobs from like running or anything. But for yoga, it's really nice because it gives you a lot of coverage and it's really stretchy and comfortable. You can wear that on its own because it is kind of a crop top or you can layer it under tops. I also got this one. This is the same pattern, except it has a little more kind of ruchy detail here and it doesn't have the neonness, so this will be nice as it's a bit more of a basic look, so it will go with everything. And this has slightly more support, so it's more fitted towards the front, and this is gonna be great for weightlifting. I also got some leggings in a similar pattern, so it's like that monochrome stripe look again. And these are full length, so great for winter, as a lot of my leggings are three quarter length. So I'm like running into the gym with like freezing cold legs because half of my leg is exposed in the freezing cold outside. And these are high waisted and really nice and tight. I mean, they're still comfortable because of the material. It does kind of move with your body when you're stretching, but it does cling. So I hate more than anything workout clothes that bag and flap around and get in the way when you're working out so i love kind of snug fit leggings because they're just there they're not moving they're not going to give you like a wedgie or a camel toe or anything awkward <laughs> and they're just really comfortable and these pass the squat test as well i found I have two pairs of leggings from H&M now and both of them pass the squat test. If you don't know what I mean, but if sometimes they're a little bit too tight or they don't fit right, when you squat down, they might ride down a little bit. You don't want that. You also don't want them if they're um, see-through at all. So I literally try them on in the changing rooms and squat as low as possible and literally check my bum out in the mirror. <laughs> and if it rides down or if it's see-through, it doesn't pass the squat test and I won't buy them. But H&M leggings have always passed the squat test for me. The final workout piece I got is this jacket. And this is like a dark gray jacket. Really basic, but great for the mornings when I'm heading to the gym because I want an extra layer underneath my coat over the top of my workout top because it's just too cold to be outside in a little skimpy workout outfit. So this is great. And I actually keep this on because it is lightweight and breathable during like my warm up. And then once I feel warm enough, I can take it off. So it's just a plain zip jacket. It's a nice similar pattern. Um, I must have really liked this pattern because everything has like stripes, but this is like a dark gray. So really nice and simple and we'll go with everything. And because life is all about balance, my last <laughs> gift that I received in complete contrast to all the fitness stuff I just showed you was a full box of these vegan peanut butter cups that I'm obsessed with and my dad knows I love them so he bought me a box of them. These are the Clio's peanut butter cups and they're from a company called Go Max Go Foods and we order them from Vegan Tuck Box, I think the website's called, but they're basically exactly like a Reese's peanut butter cup, but completely vegan, gluten-free, and oh, so good. As you can see, some of these are already missing from the box. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I just thought it would be a bit of fun to film and share with you. If you did, please subscribe. I post every Monday, Wednesday and Friday and please give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. Also, I don't always mention social media, although 
All my social media links are always linked below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. But I am using Snapchat a lot more now and really enjoying it. So if you do like Snapchat as well and watching Snapchat stories, I hope you can go and find me on Snapchat. My Snapchat name will be listed below too and I will try and add you back. So thank you so much for watching. See you on Friday for my favourite self-help books. I really hope you're looking forward to that one because I am and I'll see you then. Bye!